Hi friends, I am Yashwadhan and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today, we are going to discuss about an electronic component which is so common in most of the electronic devices and the circuits which you, are go which you use regularly but very few know about its functionality. For example, let me show you two examples. Here if you observe, the first picture here shows the this one is a 4 channel relay module and this, one, this circuit here it represents the inside of a mobile charger. Now if you observe in the, both the circuit there is a 4 pin IC that is common. That is if you observe here to each of this relay there is a 4 pin IC that is connected and here in similarly in this circuit there is a 4 pin IC. Now you may ask you you may have observed this but you don't know what is its exact functionality. In this video we are going to discuss about the functionality of this IC only. This IC, this 4 pin IC that you are seeing is known as an octocoupler or it is also called an opto isolator or an photocoupler or an it is also called an optical isolator simply. As the name suggests, it is just a simply an electronic component that transfers the electrical signal between two isolated circuits by the means of IR, uh, by the means of light or to be more specific with the help of IR radiation. Now, so, so you may as you can expect that in a common optocoupler IC, it generally consists of an IR LED and also a photo detector. That is for example, it can have a photo transistor or it can have a photo diode or it can have a LASCR for AC, AC uh, coupling purposes or a photo resistor etc. Now, now usually these octocouplers they are used for this, uh, sending only a small uh, digital signal like an on or an off, off signal but there are some techniques available in electronics with, by which we can even interf interface some analog signals or continuous signals using this optocoupler IC. Now, coming on to the different optocoupler IC types, we have these are the four commonly used optocoupler IC types. One is a photo transistor, photo Darlington, photo SCR, and a photo triad. Out of this, the two that I kept at the top, that is photo transistor and photo Darlington. Auto type of octocouplers are most commonly used for AC DC power DC coupling purposes, whereas the photo SCR and photo triac types are used generally for AC coupling purposes. Now, if we are, as we are in the still in the basic stage, the basic basic octocoupler is nothing but a photo transistor. This photo Darlington is generally a small written written more addition little more the advanced version of this photo transistor in which another transistor is also added in order to add some extra sensitivity to the circuit. In general, whenever we go into the market, there are generally two kinds of octocoupler IC that are available to us. That is, there is either a 6-pin IC or a 4-pin IC. Generally, this 4-pin IC is nothing but PC817, etc. Whereas the 6 pin ICs include 4 and 3 5 IC or a 4 and 2 8 IC, etc. For my demonstration purpose, I am going to be using a PC817 IC which is consisting of only 4, four pins. That is, only pin number 1, pin number 2, and pin number 5 and 4 will be present in the PC817 IC. Now, coming on to the operation of an octocoupler IC. As we have mentioned, the octocoupler consists of, coupler, uh, coupler consists of an IR LED and a phototransistor pair. And you may ask me, what you should know what is this dotted line that is represented? This dotted line is representing nothing but a dielectric isolator, which is isolating these two parts. Now, whenever a small uh, small voltage signal is applied to applied to this IR LED. Then this IR LED starts to emit the IR radiation which fall on the base of this transistor. As we note the basic working of a transistor, whenever the base 
whenever a small signal is applied to the base base of this base of this transistor then the current can flow from collector to emitter similarly instead of applying a small voltage here this ir radiation that is emitted by this ir led is act that whenever it falls on the base of this phototransistor then current can flow from collector to emitter that's what we expect so in general we are whenever you have we have four pins out of which pin number one is generally the is generally the anode of the anode or the positive terminal of this ir led pin number two is the cathode or the ground term or the negative terminal of this ir led and pin number three is generally the collector collector of this phototransistor and pin number four is nothing but the base of this phototransistor phototransistor now you after listening all to all this explanation you may ask me yes you know, what is the actual purpose of this ic for that let me take you back to the this example in this example if you observe if you observe here this is the circuit as i mentioned is a mobile charger a mobile charger circuit that is here the input is nothing but the main voltage that is uh, that is available in the switchboard and this output is generally the 5 volts that is required by the 5 volts dc dc voltage that is required by a mobile phones whatever what is this you know, whenever the what is the use of this ic is that whenever there is any power fluctuations in our in our switchboard or there is some lightning that is happening in the outside world then then you then whenever those fluctuations enter this uh, mobile charger circuit then this isolator uh, this auto coupler ic isolates and uh, is uh, helpful because it there because our output and the input circuit both are isolated due to which it prevents any further damage to our circuit or the components that is you may observe simply whenever we are keeping a mobile phone in charger and suddenly there is a power fluctuation we have observed that our phone suddenly switches off uh, our mobile charging stops that is happening because of because of this octocoupler ic now let us see a small now i will demonstrate physically how how it is working as a how how it is working let me go to the circuit. coming on to a practical circuit that i will be using to demonstrate the working of this octocoupler ic is is uh, this is the circuit here this ic is nothing but pc817 ic which is an octocoupler ic as we have mentioned it consists of only four pins this pin number one is the anode of our led pin number two is nothing but the cathode of our led Pin number 3 is nothing but the collector terminal of a phototransistor and pin number 4 is the emitter terminal of a phototransistor. The base terminal is internally connected so we cannot interfere with that. Now, whenever in order in order in the circuit, I am going to ground a cathode of an IRLED and the emitter terminal of a phototransistor, I am going to connect to ground whereas to this anode terminal, I am going to connect a 1 kilo ohm resistor 9 volts battery which is connected to this push button and that is connected to this 1 kilo ohm resistor. That is whenever I push this push button is in the closed state, then a small a voltage is applied at this pin number 1 due to which this IRLED turns on and it emits the, emits the IR radiation due to which current can flow from pin number 3 to pin number 4 that is from collector phototransistor to emitter of this phototransistor and this green LED is turning on that is you can say that this is an R LED pin now this is nothing but an LED which is emitting a light so this is the output that I am output load which is a small green color LED that I am connecting in my circuit in general this PC817 IC is able to handle only a octocoupler in general can handle only a small amount of load or small amount of output voltage but it cannot be used to drive a large uh, current current uh, circuit which is requiring a higher current current 
So for those circuit, in order to use an octocoupler, we generally connect this octocoupler. Following this octocoupler, we generally have a we generally connect the output of the collector to the to a relay or a photo or a transistor or a MOSFET in order to drive a, a circuit which require higher current. So in the circuit, I am going to be using a small current only. As I am using a small load, like a small LED, so I am I am this circuit is enough. Now let us move on to the demonstration. And now to do this circuit practically, I will be requiring a breadboard, some wires, some jumper wires, a green LED or a LED of any color is accepted, a 220 ohm resistor, a 1 kilo ohm resistor, PC817 octocoupler IC and a push button switch. We also require a 9 volts battery for a sub power or the volts applying a 9 volts battery with a 9 volts battery clip. Now let us go in for the circuit connection. This is the PC817 IC. If you observe carefully, it is consisting of a small dot on this IC that is which tells us that is the pin number 1. Here, this is the pin number 1, this is pin number 2, pin number 3 and this is pin number 4. I am going to connect them like this here. Okay, you can observe this is pin number 1, this is pin number 2, pin number, this is pin number 3 and this is pin number 4. Now as per the circuit diagram, I will also connect the push button here. Now in the circuit to the pin number 1, I have connected a uh, 1 ohm resistance whose other end is connected here. Now, uh, this other end, of, now this push button is uh, should be given to a positive voltage. Now, I need to connect the output such a way that this negative of the, as this 220 ohm resistance and a green LED both are in series, they can be interchanged. That is, I am going to connect it like this for simpler simplicity purpose. Now, as this resistance is having a longer lead, the positive of this LED, I am going to be connecting it to 9 volts with the help of this 220 ohm resistance. The emitter terminal is grounded, so I am going to connect it to ground. And this is also grounded, so this pin is also connected to a 9 volts battery here. Now, this is the connection. And now I have connected my 9 volts battery also. That is positive, I am given to this positive, and negative I am given to negative. Now if I push this button, a green LED is glowing. Now if I remove my finger, the LED is switching on. That means our octocoupler is working perfectly fine. Now if I push this button again, the LED is glowing again. If I remove it, it is again offing. As the uh, as we are using only an LED, as I already mentioned, as we are using only an LED, which is a small amount, which requires only a small amount of current, this uh, this is okay, but if you want to use an octocoupler in order to drive some some uh, some device or some output, like for example a motor that requires a higher current, so then we need to connect this this collector, this octocoupler. It should be followed with the help of a relay or a MOSFET in order to control that circuit. Now I hope now, I hope friends you have understood how a PC817 octocoupler is working or in general the basic operation of a, of an octocoupler IC. If you have any doubts related to this, please feel free to comment that down below. If you want or if you want to see any such video any video related to any kind of electronic topic, please feel free to comment that also down below and I will make a video on it explaining that topic if you like my explanation please like this video and share it with your friends and if you are new to my channel please feel free to, please feel free to subscribe my channel to see more such video and thanks for watching friends and have a nice day